but I felt obliged in a conference on the um, uses of literature to begin or to plant my talk in a um, discussion of matters of form. And it strikes me as odd that form and formalism keep coming back to us as if they're new, right? I mean, like 30 years ago, uh, I would go to conferences on the new formalism of Henry James. Well, what was new about it then, or what made it necessary to reintroduce a formalism to a community of a, a tribe that, that lives and breathes in, in form? And I think one way that I've explained that to myself is now anyway, that we have to maintain an awareness of how aesthetics work amid the necessary attention that we have all had to have given to the what of our texts. So in addition to the content and the context and the history and the message and the Marxism and the historicism, that, that we have to remind ourselves, as it were, to pay attention to the genre and the narrative situation and the time and the space. So I, I'm wondering though, can one read a text or view a film or listen to music without noticing all of these formal uh, dimensions? Um, I, I, maybe, I don't know. And it's a question to, to you all. Um, I think whether reading is close or surface or distant or deep or suspicious or reparative or, or, or pluralistic or authoritarian, I think a visitor visiting a text, again, be, be it literary or cinematic or musical or poetic, um, that the reader, the reader gets embroiled, implicated, I might even say incriminated in that text by virtue of its form. So that's a question that I pose at, 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 at the start. 